Ozarks has been out of the water for a really, really long time. And it's been a place where a lot of diversity has developed in terms of plants that originated here and also plants that migrated here during times when maybe the situation in other areas was bad, like during the Ice Age. Because of how it, its geological history, it has a large number of what are called microhabitats. And part of the reason that there are so many microhabitats, because the Ozarks is one of the areas that's been above seawater longer than almost anywhere else in the world. A lot of people who live outside of the Ozarks really don't understand about the Ozarks is the tremendous level of tolerance there is for diversity. I think it's a different kind of tolerating diversity than you might find elsewhere. I think it's really bone deep. It's just a natural expression of how people are here. There's a very strong live and let live sort of feeling. My sister was living in Tecumseh, Missouri and I was going to college in Iowa, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go visit my weird sister. And it wasn't until I got south of Springfield, and then we really entered into to that, that wild area of the Ozarks, and I felt awe. I was so deeply struck by the beauty. I really think in that moment I fell in love. And then I arrived where she was living, which was a, an, is an intentional community. And here was this place, these people with this amazing vision of what they wanted to make happen in the world. Someone close to me in the intentional community was pregnant. We would drive over from Tecumseh and we would have this appointment with, with a midwife with Mount Blossom. And she was a very intriguing woman. You know, then we had, had the birth after that. In the process, Mal and I made a connection and, and I fell in love with her. I discovered I had a, a talent for working with herbs. And this was something that people really expected of midwives and, and Mal didn't know anything about it. So I started uh, using herbs and I started making herbal remedies. And this was back in the early 80s. So there weren't very many books. There were almost no teachers doing it at the time. And I thought, wow, if I could teach this, then I would be able to shorten people's learning curve. This is one of the premier herbal regions in the world. And it's amazing that people don't know this. There's medicinal plants that only grow in a few places, and that would be the herbal regions in China, the Appalachians in here. There's a lot of misconceptions about what the Ozarks are, and people really just need to come here and experience it for themselves. My name is Sasha, and these are my Ozarks.